welcome to my channel and for the returning viewers thank you so much for coming back today i would like to share how i made uh, this wearable keychain using the scrap threads and i used about 20 to 25 scrap threads uh, apart from the uh, lead strings and so it was very useful for me to 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 reduce all the scrap threads I have because I have a full basket of it. And this way, this is as you can see, they're a um, little different. Uh, there's there's a little difference. And today I would like to show how I made this one with the thinner the swirl. So um, and oh, one more thing is that so this swirl part is exactly the same uh, technique that I used uh, as the macrame coaster. And um, there's so many macrame coaster tutorials on, on YouTube, and I ha got the idea of that. And the only thing I changed was the loop I added towards the end. So uh, I'd like to share how I did this coaster part, this swirl part, and the, the loop. And it, this is about 2.5 centimeters, one inch. So, and it's, it's quite <laughs> nice for a little keychain to add on your uh, key ring. So, um, all right, so let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. And in order to make this in about 2.5 centimeters in diameter, so like one inch, uh, you will need the string which runs through the swirl and you will need at least 50 centimeters um, times two. So it's one meter and fold into half. So this length is because we use double strings in the middle. So it's one meter and you will fold it into half. And then the one to wrap uh, this is hard to define and I counted and it's about 20 I made two of them and it's about 20 to 24 um, colors and strings that I used so I prepared here like 25 and mainly like maybe 10 to 15 I use uh, about 30 centimeters one foot and then a few colors that I liked but didn't have enough I also included so like some of them are like 20 centimeters um, like 8 inches or maybe even some of them are even short and so I would suggest that uh, it's better to have just a huge uh, scrap basket like me and um, uh, please make sure that you have enough of them in the colors that you like and of course you can make in different colors but um, this one is a little different style but I made this with a purple and pink this one is blue and green and the one I make here I like to use mainly orange uh, yellow and a little bit of red so um, all right so what I will do first is that this this string that I use for the center and oh um for this one you may use a probably different color and because it's basically not shown um you can probably use the the colors that you don't usually often use uh but um the thing is it shows a little bit so and that's one reason i chose a very similar color so it's up to you and all right so first thing I'll do is this is the center of the one meter thread and I just lay it here and then just make sure you're attached somewhere And just leave here I mean any centimeters um, any length because this is something that you will pass the threads later and then I just pick three threads um, the 
first one, the thing is, of course, the one that you start and want to follow. So the beginning dress should be longer. So please make sure that you choose the right col right length. And then the shorter ones, I mainly use for the after I make like the at least like three or four uh, rounds of swirl. So I like to make a little color difference, but I also like to choose from the one. Let's see. So like this. Uh, yes. So I pick one, fold it into half, hold the center, pass it through, and then pass these threads like this. thing for the other two. This might be a little short. I would like to choose the one which has sufficient length in the first one. Let me just change to this one. And now, take this tape out. There's this loop here, and then just pass the one which is sticking out here like this. Just pull, 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 pull. Then this is the first little, little circle here, little swirl, beginning of the swirl. Please make sure that all the threads are tight and like there's no hole here. And then, so you can see that this one, this is one of um, the, the things I said. So this part, this is the this color here. It's shown here. So, and then what we do here is that, so basically, so this is the initial six threads that we are going to use to wrap these, oops, these, so it will go all the way around and around, and basically the ones which are coming out uh, from uh, the center, we use the wrap. So the one thing which is a little tricky is that where to put the tape, and I have to keep moving the tape probably, but I'll just start like this. And so, so do it like this because it will go all the way. And then with this, we wrap. And then how we wrap is we put on the top of it these threads and then put this inside here. Then make sure that you go underneath. Then we do the same thing. So you see, like this. second one which is the same color all right so we lay the threads and then we wrap this one goes inside here So for the next one. So basically this is what we need to do. And I'll just now show how I'm doing. 
slowly, try to go a little slowly. So the one which runs through always have to be like a straight and the other one is wrapping. So please make sure that the one which runs through is always on top of the, the other one to wrap. And then again, we just wrap again. So basically, please make sure that this will go now on top of it and then circle it like this. So now we have to change the tip as you can see. And it moves around. So I just do little by little so that probably it's easier to see in the beginning. So these two. So this is the one to wrap. So put this one here. And of course with the same thread, please do it twice. So. Swirl like, like, um, uh, how do you call this? Uh, snail, yes. <laughs> and now, so I will now show how to add again so uh, so now we did up to here and they it was very smooth and now you can see that when you would like to put here then this one the one which is there to wrap there's a huge gap here so what would happen is that if I wrap there will be this gap, the, the um, leading strings will be shown. And then if I try to put it this way, it will be like all messed up here. So that's why you will need to add strings. And then I'll choose one of the longest one here. And then how to add, it's actually the same thing as we did in the beginning. So we fold the threads into half. That's why you have to have the tape beside you and then so you can see to fill in the gap you will just put like this and do add the strings. It's, it, so this is the thing when you add you, it almost looks like you actually wrapped it the thing is you are actually just adding using uh, this, uh, how do you call this? Oh, I forgot. Um, and then, but it's quite deceiving. You don't see the gap anymore. And then let's see, I think this beginning I had to add two. Yes, because if you do like this, and you like to have these strings straight from the center towards the outside. So, if I do like this, I still see the gap. Maybe one more. I would like to choose a color which is different from both. So, I don't have many variety. So, yeah, I think it's good. So now I add another strings here. I would like to add, I mean, use the other string, and I think it's if you pull and make it tight, I think it's good. So we wrap again. Um, uh, there was a name for this in macrame. I saw it, just forgot. 
I remember I'll put the caption. Um, I just suddenly forgot. And I am at the moment there's nobody in the house for once. Everybody just left. So and I think after I do this I will probably need to add one more here. So let's see. Well this is a color that I haven't used much. Maybe a bright yellow. Whenever you see the gap, please add and so that it will be more straight-ish, the line going out after you continue. And then again, I wrap again, always. This beading strings are on top of the one you would like to wrap. And then again, so I think now you are probably getting the idea and basically this is what this is what uh, you just need to continue again there's a gap so yes the beginning you need to probably put oh this is the same color so just to make sure that you kind of make this along the center swirl and then Ooh, if there's a gap, please just add. And that's why I couldn't really count the first time I made. And then after I finished, when I counted, it was about like 20 or, and then the second one was like 24. It depends on the length and how you use it too. So, and of course, if you like to make it bigger, you have to have more. And if you prefer a smaller one, of course, you don't need as much. So after you add, you don't do anything and move on to the one which it comes to the next. I just adjusted it because, of course, a little, um, how do you say, it? when you do this, there's always this. As you can see, that it kind of goes a little bit on the other direction, and I think that's quite cute. So um, when I didn't feel like adding too many, I just did that way. And so let's see, maybe one or two more to to just show how I do it. And so now I will add again. Maybe I can add red here. Well, I just add red. is now giving me the thing is when I use the strong tape it was very painful to to take off and stick it again so many times but when I don't have any <laughs> strings on the tape that's also a bit painful too um, so. and then we continue So you can see that now it's getting a little swirl swirl and then so please just continue and I think I did like five six maybe rounds so this is already one uh, let's see one two and two and a half one two 
and then so of course the outer side is uh, is bigger so it takes a little more time but um so i'll show how i added the loop um in the next clip after i knot i i um not not all the way up to the desired length all right okay so i made up to here and it's actually one round fewer than the one you want to finish and you will also need probably like this lead string about 30 centimeters or one foot left in order to make the loop and do all the way to to finish so it's uh, if you use the the one meter and then fold it into half and if it you started with 50 centimeters long lead strings um, double strings uh, I think you have about 30 centimeters here so after making like how many did I make uh, one two three four five six ish yes and now I would like to do the so what I do is actually oh you might have uh, realized I took off the red string um, I thought it would be good and then I realized that it was uh, actually for the loop but then I had a second thought um, twice and I decided to use this uh, string for the loop. So this, I will attach the same way because there's a little gap here. So you find the gap to add the loop, um, a string. Instead of folding into half, oh, this is not even half, half, make the one which you use for the loop longer and then just leave a few centimeters or one two maybe two inches on this side and now we attach you will just need for one more one more time to knot onto it so maybe five centimeters would be enough and So now I attached, but as you can see, the one I used for the, the one last round, it's uh, very short. And this one I use to make a loop. And in fact, uh, this is the uh, first time I use this way. The first one, I used actually the one which was already here. And um, I wanted to try something else. So this one, I actually used, because I used the... Uh, four strings inside, I used this lead strings. And for this one, um, this one, I think this one was a little wobbly. So I would like to use a fresh one here and try how it goes. Basically, the idea is the same because the lead strings will be inside the loop and how you wrap that as a loop is a little different. And actually if the more you do it um, you might find a better way than i found out so now it's like this and we just use the way we always make the chain so um backward forward backward So I would suggest maybe, let's see, um, how many did I make? It doesn't have to be that long, but sufficient length. And
think about maybe one little longer than one inch. And of course, it uh, depends on how you like it to be finished. So, if you like to have a longer loop or shorter loop, please adjust. I think I made about, let's see, one, two, thirteen. All right. So let's see if this will be enough. Maybe eight, maybe two more, maybe one. Let's see, because I will need also a little length to to do the the last round. So I will need to leave a little bit too. Yes, I did two more. So fifteen. Yeah, I think it's enough. So basically, I will just now kind of squeeze in here. And like fold this, and then in the end, I'll tie up. Let's see if I can do a little thing here. So, just please have this folded like this, and now we just continue. That's what I did. And of course, the first one right after the loop is a little tricky. So this one you will use later, so please keep it like this. And then I just do the same knot. It's tight enough. And now we just continue one more up to the loop. I just do one more so that I can take off the tape and it's more secure. So now we just added the loop. And of course, it's a little wobbly here. So, what I would do is after one more round, and I'll just add the lead strings and just everything and then make it to a wrap knot so i'll just do one more round and then we'll show how i will end okay so after i made the the loop i went one more round here and so this is the thread i used for the loop and so I'll just do the same thing here just to secure this will be the last um, knot I will make one and two and now so what I, I will try to do is so basically after this um, I've been doing a little differently each time and so basically my idea is to have this wrapped in the wrap knot I make and it's here and uh, so for this one first of all because I didn't really use this and then I want to make it tuck I'll just um, Just wrap, or it's either way. I think I can also do so. These kind of things I usually do um, as I. <laughs> it's like a try and error. So, so basically, this one, this one, everything. I would like to just wrap. So, just make it kind of tight. And so, please do the way you would like to do. The the key is. The bottom line is just everything has to be in the 
inside the knot and make it quite tight. So I will just do like this. And then I just make things here, just add this together. So I will also use this uh, lead string to wrap once and put it under here. So of course, if you like to, uh, please use glue or something to secure or maybe a needle to do it in the very end and i usually <laughs> try to i have needle and glue but i just try to do find a way which i don't have to use uh many things because i'm so lazy and um i just try to do the easiest way possible at least for me so uh okay somewhere like this so you can see that I just wrapped and made sure that every thread are in one place and and I collect with this kind of thing sometimes and then I just pick one thread one leftover threads from the 30 centimeter or 20 be one of the longest one left. Yeah, I think this one is good. Just so this wrap knot, of course, you can make it with uh, tw maybe 20 centimeters and or even 10 centimeters if you are used to it. But um, it's of course everything is easier. So as far as it's not coming out, I think it's good. I think this one might pop out. I'll just tie it. So this kind of thing, I don't have any particular rule, I just do it with a flow. So by doing this, I think it's going to secure more. So, then put in the same direction, and now I just do a wrap knot. Make it tight here. So I'm trying to show, um, it's not very... <laughs> uh, refine the way I show I know and the thing is when I make something and it's not that uh, refined and sometimes I try to make a video uh, in a clear way but I think it might be a little helpful for people who are not used to this kind of thing that even it doesn't look much so so I do so what I did is uh, this wrap knot I explained in many in the one of the first tutorials. So I just twist here and just make a wrap around it. So of course not to include the other threads. It has to be tight, but if it's too tight, then it's very hard to pull. So decently tight, and I want to have some thickness. So let's see, some thickness. For this one I make it, usually I do like four, four wrap, but um, this I do five or six, just to have it quite secured. And make sure that the one the crossed part is inside this wrapped part and oh I didn't um, say it but you it's probably better to do it on the back side so that so this is basically the idea so this is uh, my wrap no was <laughs> very clean but I think it's accepted there you go. And now we just uh, basically what happened here. Okay, I think it's because of the. So basically, um, making this or anything which I make, I use lots and lots of adjustment, and 
I have made some videos cutting all the adjustment part, but it's uh, behind the video, it's always like this. I spent more time probably adjusting than actually making it. And so I think it's acceptable now. So there. And now, I just basically cut everything. And so first I just finish this knot part, so there you go. Now I just trim like every not too short, not too long, and that's very hard. I usually do like maybe half an inch or one centimeters and four or five together. <laughs> Never cuts it once. Of course, if you like it longer or shorter, but Please don't cut it too short because then it might just um, untang um, a knot and then it will fall apart. So I would suggest Of course, after I do all this, I, I um, trim again and and I know I'm trying so hard and sometimes I don't realize that my hands are moving away from the center. Oh, I just pulled it. Ouch. Pulled too much. So please don't pull too much because it will make the space between those swirls. So It's pretty, um, for me, it's uh, really satisfying to cut this last part. It's just that I like to cut all the threads. Oh, sorry. So this is how you do and if you prepare all the threads to to use, um, you it actually it took me probably because I was explaining it took me um, longer, but I think you can probably do it in like less than an hour for sure. So once you get used to it, if it's this size, I also like to try one day to make it really big, how it goes, and there you go. I don't know why, but each time when I, so this is my second scissor since last year, and uh, it's always after some time. So, basically, there it is. And the color-wise, uh, this one I chose, as you can see, orange and yellow mainly, so. So, this is my and so here you go so it's done so this is my first one and then my second second one I used the four lee strings in the middle and this one again I went back to two lee strings so you can see the difference oh it's not in the center and so if if you like it a bigger swirl thicker swirl you can probably try the um, four strings and this one, you can see that when I wrap, I use two. So you, I just, instead of dividing it to one each, after I add it and then two strings coming out, I just use one once. So double strings to wrap. So that it was faster and it actually had the, um, wrapped it easier than, um, because uh, there are uh, more threads to wrap. 
so I haven't tried to do it one each for this one so all right I hope you enjoyed um, watching and making it and please adjust the way you would like to do and so here it is black side is not <laughs> extremely clean on this one but uh, at least I could wrap it and I think I could probably do a better job if I tried a little harder but I have some um, fibers so here it is so thank you so much for watching and hope to see you soon